very often you ask me about the ways that I manage my YouTube channel and stay on top of all the content that I need to produce. One of the tools that's been in my arsenal for about two or three years now is Trello. Now the cool thing about that is Trello just reached out to me asking if I wanted to collaborate on a video where I show you guys how I use the service in order to stay productive. What's going on tech squad? Andrew Edwards here, editor in chief of GearLive.com. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about tech, gadgets, and gaming. So if you're into that kind of stuff, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below as well as that bell notification icon so you don't miss any future videos. So like I said, in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about Trello, how it works, and how I use it to stay productive on a daily basis to manage all the videos that I create. And by the way, big shout out to Trello for making such a great productivity tool and for sponsoring this video. And now let's pull back the curtain and take a look at how I stay on top of things. All right, let's get in here and get started with Trello. So as you can see here, I've got Trello on my screen. Trello lets you work more collaboratively and get more done. I use Trello, like I said, for all sorts of stuff. Here's an example of a Trello board, but rather than looking at the examples, I figured I would just create a new Trello board right now geared towards what I do for work, which is make videos for YouTube and other social media platforms. So let's get in on this real quick and let's create a new board and let's call it YouTube videos now. So that's it. This is the basic layout for Trello completely empty. I'm going to change the background a little bit to go with something a little more YouTube -y, like this red with the white. So the way Trello works is with these different boards and cards. So I'm going to first start by making a few lists. First list will be called videos to record. I have a lot of stuff I need to record coming up. So this is going to be where I keep everything arranged for what needs to be recorded. Then let's do what's the next step after record a video, I have to record my voiceover if a voiceover is required. So I'll make one there. If I am uploading it for someone else to edit, I upload it to Dropbox. So uploaded to Dropbox is my next one. Next list is going to be editing myself. If no one else is helping me, I'm doing it myself. I'll move it here. After editing, I need a thumbnail. So let's say thumbnail needed, then uploaded to YouTube and finally published. Last step. So now I've got my different lists here, but they're empty. There's nothing in them. So I'm going to start by adding cards to these lists. So let me just go through some stuff that I know is coming up. So let's say iPhone 8 preview and Samsung Galaxy Note 8 review, Samsung Galaxy Note 8 camera review, Trello walkthrough, which is this video that I'm making right now, ultimate home theater setup and LG OLED E7 review. So that's just a few. I can keep going on and on here. I've got a bunch of stuff that I need to do. This is an example right here, videos I need to record. So now I have a list of videos, but it's not just for keeping, you know, list items. I can add to these things. So for example, so let's say I go into iPhone 8 preview here and I just click on the preview. As you can see, it expands and now I can add more information. For example, I can add a checklist and this checklist can be titled whatever you want. So I'm going to call it my shot list and I can make sure I add in the shots that I need for this video. So let's say I need my video open. I need the teaser leaked images of iPhone. If I'm comparing it to the current phone, I need rear shot of iPhone 7 Plus and a shot of the Galaxy Note 8 OLED display because the camera and the display are two different things that need to be specifically addressed. So as you can see, I could just go on and on and add all the shots I need. So as I'm recording my video, I can refer back to the shot list. I can also add comments here, things to remember, dates, locations, links, etc. I can add everything here. I can even add a description. What is this video about? An advanced look at the upcoming iPhone 8. Make sure to publish prior to the official announcement. 
there you have it. So as you can see, and I know the official announcement is on the 12th, so I can even put a due date here and say, I want this done by September 11th, 2017. Save that. Now I've got a due date, I've got a shot list, I've got a description, et cetera, and it saves all of the activity right there for me. Now let's say I recorded this video today and I needed to do a voiceover. I can just take it and drag it right over to record voiceover and now it's there. So now that list item moves from videos to record over to record voiceover. So anything here, I know now I need to go in and record a voiceover if it's in there. So let's say I take the Trello walkthrough as well and I put it there and record voiceover. Now this one isn't gonna need a voiceover because I'm actually doing it right now and I am editing this one myself so I can move this over if this were already done, I move it over there to editing myself. Once I edit it, I need a thumbnail. I can move it over to thumbnail needed. And as you'll see, as you start filling these things up, this lets me keep track of everything that I need to do step by step. So I can go into Trello in the morning, see which videos are upcoming that I need to record. I can see which just need voiceover, so I can go in and just record those voiceovers if need be. I can see which have been uploaded to Dropbox, so now it's someone else's responsibility to download it from Dropbox and get it edited. And I can add team members in here so multiple people can collaborate in this space. Editing myself, that tells me, okay, these are the videos that I need to make sure to go in and edit myself once a video is edited a thumbnail is needed before uploading to youtube and then finally if it's uploaded to youtube that means it has a thumbnail it's gone through all those other steps it's uploaded to youtube but it's not published yet it may be waiting for me to add a description or it may just be waiting for a certain date i may be under an nda and it's not supposed to be released until a certain day and time and once it's published I can move it to published right there, or I can archive it and send it to a different section. I like to leave everything there in published just to make it easier for me to find. And of course, there's a search field here. So if I was looking for, let's just say LG, it'll find my LG OLED E7 review card. And as you can see, it pulls up things from other boards that I have because this is just a test board here. So LG G6 preview, LG V10 review, LG V20 top five features, etc. It shows you all the different cards that I have. So Trello is an amazing tool. Like I said, I use this every single day. I can't recommend it highly enough. And the best part, it is free to use. So there you have it guys. That was your look at Trello and how I use it to stay on top of all my videos. If you have any questions about it, be sure to drop them down in the comments below and I'll meet you there for further discussion. And additionally, if you have productivity tools that you use on a regular basis, drop those down in the comments below as well because I'm interested in seeing what everyone else out there is using. Don't forget the new Gear Live t-shirt merchandise is available right now. I'll leave a link down in the description below as well as a tag up here somewhere for you guys to check out. We've got shirts for guys and girls. So if you wanna rep the tech squad, hit that link. And if you haven't done so already, feel free to click or tap on my face when it appears here at the bottom of the screen in order to subscribe for free to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, guys, I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Edwards, and I'll catch you in the next video.